In a whirlwind of automotive evolution, the Porsche CEO Oliver Bloom unveiled a bold prophecy. This new hydrogen combustion engine will destroy EVs. An electrifying declaration that sparked debates, curiosity, and an industry-wide ripple of anticipation. And today we will be diving more into it. The idea of a hydrogen combustion engine from Porsche certainly challenges the prevailing narrative dominated by electric vehicles. It's a compelling proposition, aiming to provide the thrill of high-performance driving while addressing environmental concerns. Porsche's approach under Oliver Bloom's leadership seems to position the hydrogen combustion engine not as a competitor, but as a complementary technology to electric vehicles, offering consumers a diversified portfolio of powertrain options under the same brand. The success or failure of Porsche's venture into hydrogen-powered vehicles will undoubtedly have a profound impact, shaping how other automakers approach and invest in their own powertrain technologies. The automotive industry stands on the brink of a revolutionary shift in powertrain technology, and Porsche's recent announcement regarding their hydrogen combustion engine has ignited fervent discussions about the future of propulsion. Oliver Bloom, Porsche's CEO, boldly proclaimed that this innovation would destroy electric vehicles, sparking both curiosity and skepticism. Porsche's venture into hydrogen combustion engines represents a paradigm shift. It challenges the existing dominance of electric vehicles, offering a glimpse into a future where hydrogen-powered vehicles could coexist or even surpass their electric counterparts. Hydrogen allure stems from its high energy content and the emission of only water vapor, presenting a tantalizing solution to address concerns about greenhouse gas emissions. Porsche's vision is to deliver the exhilarating performance synonymous with its brand while minimizing environmental impact, a compelling proposition in an era dictated by sustainability imperatives. However, this audacious claim of destroying electric vehicles warrants deeper scrutiny. It's not about annihilation, but about competition and diversification in the automotive landscape. Success of hydrogen combustion engines faces formidable challenges, infrastructure, production efficiency, and safety concerns that demand rigorous solutions. Infrastructure stands as a pivotal hurdle. The establishment of a comprehensive hydrogen refueling network is crucial for the widespread adoption of hydrogen-powered vehicles. Current hydrogen infrastructure is limited, posing a significant impediment to consumer acceptance. Overcoming this challenge requires substantial investment and collaborative efforts across industries. In the world of car innovation, finding new ways to power cars is like searching for something extremely important. Porsche, a famous brand known for fast and luxurious cars, has made a surprising move. Their CEO, Oliver Bloom, revealed a new kind of engine that uses hydrogen. This hydrogen fuel isn't new, but usually, it's used in fuel cells to make electricity, not to make the engine run directly. Porsche's idea of using hydrogen directly in an engine is a big deal. Regular engines in cars have been around for a long time, showing how smart humans are at making things work but they also depend on a lot of fossil fuels, which harm the environment. Now, with concerns about pollution and how we affect the environment, using hydrogen in engines is like saying there's more to learn about regular engines. Other car companies have also tested using hydrogen in engines. BMW tried it with their 7 Series car, and Mazda even used it in their quirky rotary engine for the RX-8. But these were mostly just tests and not big changes in the car market. Porsche, though, is serious. They want to be leaders, not just testers. Their hydrogen engine aims to mix the excitement of sports cars with no pollution, which is a big deal for both science and feelings. Porsche is known for its fast cars and racing history, and that's what they're using to talk about hydrogen engines. Bloom's announcement is smart because it talks about the cool sound of a Porsche engine and the fun of driving without hurting the planet. They're not just comparing themselves to other car companies, they're trying to change where cars are going. Electric cars like the ones Tesla, General Motors, and Ford make are seen as the future. But Porsche asks, what if there's a different way that doesn't have the same problems as electric cars, like slow charging and worries about batteries? Hydrogen engines could be the answer. They can be refueled quickly, just like getting gas for your car. And the only thing they make is water. This isn't just a challenge to electric cars, it's offering a new way for cars to evolve. Also, using hydrogen made in your own country could make countries less reliant on oil from other places. 
Countries like Japan that already use hydrogen might have an advantage, but there are problems too. Making hydrogen efficiently, making safe storage, and building a good way to get to cars are tough. Porsche knows this won't be easy. They're famous for facing challenges in making cars. Bloom's idea isn't just about the engine itself, it's a bigger idea about how we drive cars and what's important in the future. Porsche's work with hydrogen engines isn't just about the environment or making cars better. It's also about how countries work together, how people use energy, and what rules are needed for new car technologies. Porsche isn't alone in this. Other companies like Toyota and Hyundai are also working on hydrogen engines or fuel cells. They all want to use hydrogen to make cars that are better for the environment. Building the things needed for hydrogen cars, like places to refuel them or making hydrogen more purely, needs everyone's help. This isn't just a technical problem, it's a problem for everyone involved. Bloom's idea about hydrogen engines is a turning point. It's not just about cars, it's about the future of driving and what big car companies do at a time when things are changing a lot. Porsche might not make only one kind of car in the future. They might have both electric and hydrogen cars. This could let people pick the type of car they want based on where they live or what they need. As Porsche keeps working on their hydrogen engine, the whole world is watching. If Porsche succeeds, it won't just be a win for them, it'll change how other car companies make their cars. It's a big deal because Porsche's history is all about loud engines and fast cars. But Bloom's idea says that might work well with a new kind of engine that's better for the planet. It's a big change, but it might just be the right one for the future. The statement made by the Porsche CEO is a strategic attempt to highlight the potential superiority of their hydrogen combustion engine over electric vehicles. It's a bold assertion, intending to shift the conversation within the automotive industry. By using strong language like destroy, the CEO aims to emphasize that Porsche's technology represents a significant leap forward in propulsion systems. Porsche's statement about the hydrogen combustion engine is an intriguing juxtaposition of two critical elements, performance and environmental impact. Traditionally, performance vehicles have been associated with high emissions, contradicting sustainability objectives. However, Porsche is positioning their hydrogen combustion engine as a solution that doesn't compromise on the exhilarating driving experience associated with their brand while addressing environmental concerns. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Your opinions matter. Let us know your thoughts on the topic discussed through our comment section. Wait for another video with an equally messy pot of tea.